Madam Toastmaster, fellow members and distinguished guests, laugh at yourself regularly is my motto. Take my husband and myself for example. I'm a serious person to a fault. My husband, he can find humor in everything. I assume that's why we make a great pair. You must be able to laugh at yourself, though. Even the Pope, in his recent speech that he had, he prays, he said he prays every day for the world and for God to give him a sense of humor. So, as the story goes, my husband and I were invited to a fundraiser by a colleague whose son recently lost his infant son to a very rare heart condition. You can imagine it was touch and go for a month with this newborn. And we were all on pins and needles every day. My friend would come into the office and we'd ask him how this, the, the grandson was doing. And he would say, you know, it was good that day. He was doing better. He was a fighter. And then the next day he was not good. And then the infant son was gone. A funeral was next. The grieving was intense. And to help, the grandfather and the grandmother decided to put together a fundraiser for and start a, um, and put together a fund and start a, uh, a fundraiser. You see, the Capius were all, um, they, they wanted to help uh, the Capuses the Capus boys, Ryan's parents, were able to be with him the whole time he was sick in the hospital. And they wanted other parents to have that opportunity and not, besides dealing with the grief, to have an opportunity to be with their children. So the money raised would help the parents be able to spend time with their sick children as Ryan's parents were able to do, even though the outcome was very grim. We bought tickets, my husband and I, and the event was in the summer. It was a silent auction at the event with wine and beer and light hors d'oeuvres were being served. It was, it was quite moving, the whole, the whole event. It was outside. It was 10 years ago, and we were in the throes of raising our children. We were very busy running a bed and breakfast, both working full time running transportation for our busy children. Let's see, there were music lessons, dance lessons, tennis matches, track, young girls at faith, church meetings, Bible study. We had a full schedule. And this time, and that time in my life was very busy. When we were at this fundraiser, they held a silent auction to raise more money. My husband and I chatted, we mingled, and we looked at some auctions separately. They had different items. How many have been to a, a, a silent, how, how many have been to a fundraiser? Wine bottles, they had golf games, beach attire, gift certificates, and some plants. We were having fun sipping our beverages and mingling and going around and signing uh, different different um, silent auction items. We both met back up and both said, you know, did we put anything in? Did we bid on anything? And I said, I bid on a plant uh, about nose high. And he, my husband said, yeah, I saw that plant and I saw that you bid on it. I hope you get it. The plant that I noticed had brown leaves and I thought, God, it's it's looking pretty sad. But at the time, my husband is a very good green, he has, very, he has a green thumb. And um, so I knew he could save this plant. And did I mention it was alcohol at this party? Well, I commented to him that I bid on the plant. And he said he saw that and he hoped I got one of a bid. But so by the end of the night, we won the plant. Yay. And we were in a hurry as we needed to get back home for some other event that was coming up. And so I quickly paid for the plant. And told my husband, listen, I'll go get the car if you'll pick up the plant. It was going to be heavy, and I figured he could do the heavy lifting. 
So I drove the car around, quickly met him at the entrance, and he popped the trunk and he tossed the plant in the in the back. And he mentioned to me when he got in the car that it it needed a lot of water and and you know that it, probably some TLC. But we both agreed that Earl could handle the job. My husband. When we arrived home, he immediately placed, placed the plant in the garage tub and soaked it with water. Well, he checked on it the next day, and I went to work. And when I came home, he said, uh, he, he checked on it the next day, and he asked me to come out to the garage and see our new plant, how well it was doing. Of course, he said the plant was very light and really needed water. Well, when we when I got out there in the daylight, we both turned to each other and we laughed, bust out laughing. The reason why it was so light, it was an imitation. And it had fooled us both. Me with the brown leaves, thinking it was pretty sad. And my husband, with the fact that it needed a lot of water. So we've kept the plant in all our moves. We call it our lucky plant. It's kept humor in our lives by being, by us being able to laugh at ourselves. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow members, distinguished guests.